Hello, Virgo, and welcome to Intuitive Clarity with yours truly, Allison Nichols. Virgo, as always, this is just a general tarot forecast for the month of August 2019. So if it doesn't resonate with you, always check out your moon and a rising sign as well. As you can see, we have Watson in the background now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I finally got set up so that I can do readings um, at night instead of waiting for during the day when everybody's gone. Um, so now I guess Watson's going to get to be in the videos because I have new digs. All right. And while I'm shuffling the cards, Virgo, I'd like to invite you to please check out the new candle boutique below. Um, I have created my own personal candle. It's all natural. Everything I use is natural from the wax to um, the scent. And it's it's been a hoot to create. So it's been going on for a minute before I actually launched. And I finally launched the website. It's intuitiveclaritycandles.com. Uh, so check that out. There is um, definitely more since getting ready to happen, we're getting ready to do the fall line and they will all be wooden wicks and in a, um, uh, my, my son, the whole family got involved. So there's a lot of creative synergy going on under my roof right now, which I dig the most, but my, my son, um, created some, uh, copper chains and created a lantern for my mason jars for the fall line. And so they'll be in, I guess the fall line is going to be in lanterns with wooden wicks. So it is constantly evolving, but it, it is a good time. So definitely check out uh, the uh, candle boutique below. All right. So let's see what's happening with Virgo for August 2019. Of course, I'll be using the Fairy's Journey Tarot deck, which is um, the one I created. And you could always purchase that at the boutique as well. There we go. All right, of course I'm gonna do some numerology. Clarification. A lot of nines going on there. Nine, wow. Lots of nines happening for you, Virgo. Um, nines are endings, all right? Completions. So it doesn't always have to be sad, right? Um, it could be you're just going through a lot of completions. Um, it, it's a big energy to, to be going through. Uh, so just kind of be prepared, be on your toes. Know that whatever is ending or completing, it's for the best. Um, and it's time, right? So let's do some clarification here. Wow. Okay. We have my knight, nine of swords, but she's reversed. Um, this is out of the um, fairy's journey. But she is reversed. So clearly when she's straight up, she's worried, right? She's almost worried sick. She's keeping her up at night. It's reversed. So clarification here, I got my safe open. All right. So there's something that's hidden. It looks like that either you are choosing not to worry about you've decided you're not going to worry about it or you don't know to yet but let me check that out and remember nine is a big deal here um because i got a nine here uh, that very first week we got her as the nine and then we got the hermit the second week which is also nine which is also your card um the hermit is the card of virgo so along with the key which is telling me oftentimes when I get the key that this is the key to this particular card here is the key to the whole meeting of this lineup. So with the hermit, it is many things, okay, but it, it can be solitude. Um, but it's also looking into something. It's seeking something. 
The hermit can be a very spiritual card as well. It could be that you might be seeking um, some inner knowledge. All right. You're looking within. Um, but oftentimes it is researching, seeking information. Okay. Um, so the second week, it might be key to kind of go behind the scenes and start looking into things. All right. Week three, I get the chariot but it's reversed and I get the letter, the mail. Okay. Which is news coming. Um, when I have the chariot straight up, it is making decisions. Do I want to do the stick with the tried and true or do I want to go off into a whole new spectrum? Okay. When it's reversed, so it's decisions. When it's reversed, it is either not making a decision or not having a decision. You have no choice. It looks like you might get some information that um, might limit your choices, okay, at this third week, whether that is by paper, mail, email, text, whatever. It's a, it's a message to you, though. It's, it's definitely some type of correspondence in some way or information. Um, week four, I do have my justice card, but it's reversed. And then on top of that, I have the clover. Now, the clover in general is usually good tidings, okay? Um, so if this is also uh, the card for Libra, if that means anything to you, okay, for justice, if, if you're involved with a Libra. Um, but reversed, it is um, justice not being served, okay? Um, which for some reason might be good news for you. I don't know. If, if, if you were wrapped up in some type of a legal situation this fourth week and it went to court or whatever, it could be that there is a delay and that is actually good news for you. All right. Or there is a delay in some type of a decision that needs to be made that's quite important to you. Um, someone else making a decision about you or about something you, you deeply care about. So the delay might be good news. Or if justice is um, not being served and like you were guilty, that could be good news. All right. Um, but hopefully it's just that it's just a delay. Okay. But we'll do, <laughs> we'll do some clarification here. Um, I want to do these guys. Also, if there was, um, even if the, that fourth week, even, even if the decision was not necessarily the decision that you wanted, it could just be a relief that it's over if it's something that had been hanging on for a very long time. So um, like a, a legal battle or whatever, even though you didn't fare out as well as you wanted to, it could be it's just a relief. It's over. It's good news. It's done. Because remember, we are, dang it. We are talking about um, endings this month, so, or completions. Okay, week one, I get my King of Pentacles reversed. Um, Virgo... He actually, he's Earth, so he is about Virgo as well. But um, he's also about old money. He is also about being the boss um, or a lender, a banker, or something like that. Someone who controls money or has a lot of money. Um, and then we have that on top of some type of a loss here. And on top of that, it looks like um, you might not have seen it coming, um, might not have known that there was a problem going on here, didn't know you needed to worry about it, or you've just finally decided you're not going to worry about this. Now, if this is about um, a partner that is an earth sign, 
okay? You might just have decided that you were just not going to worry <laughs> about, um, you know, the how they're feeling about things um, or about the uh, spending or, or, or whatever it is. You might have just decided, I'm just not going to worry about it, all right? I'm not going to spend any more time thinking about the, the negative stuff going on with this person, okay? Even if it's not a partner, just someone that you're involved with. All right, week um, two, I get decisions, but I also get being blind, okay, about it. Um, kind of not there again, um, being in the dark, all right? Kind of like my hermit here, all right? It's telling me that whatever this is that you need to get information about or you need to look more into, it's not a good time. You don't know enough yet. It's not a good time to make a decision. There's still some things that you probably need to look at, all right, um, that second week. So it might not be a good idea to make a decision quite yet. This is a happy family this third week, all right stopping you in your tracks. Remember, you can't move forward. Um, it you, looks like you might be getting um, some messages through family that might either stop you in your tracks or um, it might be about you not being able to go somewhere or someone's coming to see you. So you have to kind of stop what you're doing kind of thing if they're wanting to come visit you. Um, because I do believe this message, clearly this is going to be about family, um, but it's I don't see it as really being negative news other than it might make you stop what you were already, what you were in progress of doing, right? Um, put it to a halt anyway. And here, this fourth week, I get a resting period. So this is great. So remember we said good tidings. Um even up here, even though there's a bit of an unbalance going on here or um, a delay in a decision, we've got a resting period. So we have some delays going on, which is actually good news. So you can actually be at peace for a little while. All right. Um, so whatever that decision might be um, that someone is holding over you, it, it might be just a relief, okay, um, that there's a delay or that it's over. You finally are at peace with whatever that is, that third week, um, or fourth week, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's do one last clarification card, Virgo. Mm. Ah, okay. So week four, I do get the lightning bolt, which is a sudden surprise on top of my king of pentacles. All right. So remember I said you might not have known to worry about it. And here we are with a sudden surprise. So there is going to be something that comes out or something that happens. Um, and I do believe it's around an earth sign or um, an older uh, person, gentleman, it can be a woman, um, but I, it comes as a surprise. You didn't even know that it was going on. You didn't know you needed to worry about it, okay? That's this first week. Week two, remember I said there were things you still needed to learn. Um, I've got the cat and mouse reversed, okay? That's it straight up. Straight up, it is negotiation. It's playing, um, toy, it's even toying with someone. But um, reversed, it is not making any negotiations, not even going out to try to negotiate about it. it. It's telling me that there is still some things going on um, in the background here that you probably need to, to look into before you try to make any negotiations. Not a good time to do it, okay? especially sitting on top of my two of swords. And there again, the key is looking into things, looking behind the scenes, okay? Being a detective, that is the key. 
All right, that's week two. Week three, I get the um, birds reverse. Now straight up, my birds, it's always, I always, it's gossip. Okay, it's chatter. Um, it's reversed. So it is um, perhaps some, uh, some negative um, information that comes to you about a family member or through a family member. There again, I said, I think you might be stopped dead in your tracks or you might not have a lot of choices um, to make about this going on here, um, about this information. So you might just have to, whatever it is that's presented to you, you just might have to handle it, take care of it, whatever. Um, but yeah, there is some negative chatter, it looks like, going on um, that might might just either make you mad, stop you in your tracks kind of thing, or make you have to stop what you were doing in order to make things right, okay? Even if you, it's not about you and that person, it could be a third party, but you might need to just stop what you're doing and, you know, have a come to Jesus meeting with them and, you know, get it all straightened out. So that third week, just kind of be prepared for some information coming to you. I believe it's around family. Okay. Week four, I get the bride reversed. Okay. This is going to be a very select view of you. All right. My bride reversed. So divorce, right? Very select view of you. Not everybody's getting divorced. But if it is about that, it could be the finally all the decisions are made this fourth week. And um, you can finally, you're finally at peace. Okay. Um, you're actually at peace with this breakup. Now, if it isn't about divorce, if it's more about a legal partnership, whether that is, you know, about around a business, around work, um, it could be that even though this is, you ne didn't necessarily feel this is fair, it's almost a relief kind of thing, okay? You're kind of glad to not be in that legal partnership anymore. All right. So that's what I have Virgo. Um, actually not overall, not, not real bad because it looks like by the end of the month, you are at peace with how everything went down. Um, be careful week two, definitely look at all your options, look into things, don't sign any contracts, no negotiations. Um, the key is investigate, investigate, investigate. Um, week one, there is going to be something that's going to pop out of nowhere, it looks like. Um, you know, there again, uh, it, it could be something that you thought you handled and you didn't need to worry about it anymore. And then, boop, there it is again. Now you have to handle it again. You didn't know you had to worry. Um, and it looks like there might be some news coming to you through someone that you're emotionally involved with. I have a strong family connection to that layout though. Okay, Virgo, that's what I have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I did reading them for you. Please always like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, do all, click all the buttons. Uh, follow me on Facebook too. And also check out the Candle Boutique. And if, like I said, if there's any sense that you would love for me to create for you or that you um, particular candle fragrances that are your favorite, just email it to me. My email um, address will be down there. Or if you wanted to just put it in the comments, go right ahead. And there again, if I decide to create um, that scent and, uh, and I'm doing it with you in mind, I will definitely, definitely let you know. And you never know, I might just send you a little surprise tea light set. Don't know yet. But anyway, that's what I have. And I hope you have a fabulous August. Take it easy. Um, looks like you might need to. Remember, it's a nine, so there's some endings going on, some completions. Um, and until we meet again in September, Virgo, I am always sending loving energy your way. Bye-bye.